हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स कैसे नितिन हियर सो आई गेव दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्यू डेज बैक इन टेलीग्राम चैनल एज वेल एज इन यूट्यूब कम्युनिटी पोस्ट सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू वर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड वर आस्किंग फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ इट सो हियर आई बी प्रेजेंटिंग द सोल्यूशन एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट वॉज स्लाइटली ट्रिकी प्रॉब्लम एंड आई होप यू लव दिस सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस लेट स्टार्ट दिस प्रॉब्लम ए पार्टिकल पी इज सब्जेक्ट टू थ्री फोर्सेज सो देर आर थ्री फोर्सेज एक्टिंग ऑन ए पार्टिकल एंड वैक्टर एफ इज गिवन एज अल्फा पी ए प्लस बीटा पी बी माइनस के वी सो हेयर initial uh, condition is given that it is uh, a b c a b p points are given origin location is given to us and uh, if you see the nature of uh, these forces that i have uh, explained here it is alpha times p a that means it is along uh, this line so it is kind of a central force similarly f2 is uh, along a fixed point b p b p is a general location and f3 is like minus k times uh, v cap so here it's a drag force which is constant in magnitude so this is somewhat like uh, spring force uh, sorry friction force whereas if you look at this uh, particular force it looks like uh, uh, spring force with zero natural length so central forces and that was the idea behind uh, this particular problem now there were three parts it is given a particle p of mass m is released from point 0 comma l so initial uh, condition is given and if you see p a is like uh, this entire uh, length so if we treat this as a uh, elastic force or a spring force of zero natural length spring with the zero natural length then we can relate it like one spring is connected here one spring is connected here and there is a friction somewhat uh, like this so we have to find out the time after which particle crosses the x axis and uh, equation of trajectory we need to calculate and uh, the maximum speed uh, during the journey we have to find out in this particular case all right so first what i will do is let's uh, see the contribution of uh, central forces alone and see the contribution of drag force alone right and for simplicity i will just use alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to 2 so that our calculations are easy and it's uh, easy to handle now uh, the central force part which is alpha pa plus uh, beta times pb uh, we can simply write for alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to 2 pa plus 2 pb now let's say it is at uh, some general location and from origin its uh, position vector is r vector so here i can say this is minus l i cap and this is plus l i cap position vector of point a and b so uh, using this vector triangle i can uh, calculate here this uh, r plus p a is minus l i cap and similarly r plus p b is l i cap r plus p b is l i cap so from here uh, p a is known to me and p b is known to you this is minus r i uh, r vector minus l i cap and p b becomes minus r plus l i cap now when i substitute these values here when i substitute these values here i am getting the contribution of this uh, central force as minus 3r plus uh, l i cap now f central force uh, will become something like this minus 3 times uh, r minus l by 3 i cap now what exactly this shows us that uh, the central forces are pointing towards a fixed point l by uh, which is l by 3 i cap having position vector so somewhere on this line this point q will be associated so central forces will be pointing in this fixed direction for alpha beta this uh, value can uh, come at some different point now resultant force of central forces point towards a fixed point q is equal to l by 3 i cap all right now the next part <coughs> it is if we see the drag force uh, here it is minus k v cap so it is constant in magnitude and opposite to vector v it is similar to kinetic friction force so now the entire uh, part we will just reduce it like this is similar to spring force k delta x kind of uh, function is coming delta x will be basically uh, this is r and this is this value so it is like uh, this is another uh, a spring of zero natural length you can say all right 
at this particular case anyways so let's go ahead and uh, deal further so the entire force now we can reduce in two parts these central forces are like resultant of two springs of zero natural length and it is uh, kv cap is similar to kinetic friction so this is the concept part mm -hmm. and if you are able to observe this uh, part uh, clearly here then i think uh, the problem becomes uh, very easy let's start now the solution starts uh, from this point so for us it is like uh, <coughs> equivalent spring and a friction force so basically it will uh, oscillate and with decreasing uh, amplitude you can say and it is released from one of the uh, extreme position it is released from one of the extreme position all right so you can uh, see this i have written here so k equivalent is alpha plus beta basically for this uh, particular case because here also some r part will come here also some r part will come so this will become alpha plus beta which is this part now the next part which is given at t equal to zero its initial velocity is zero so how you, uh, it is going to move it will start from here it will cross this point uh, q further it will not go to the same distance its amplitude will decrease then while coming back something like this so about point uh, q you can say it is the equilibrium uh, of uh, uh, this part uh, the spring part if uh, there is no friction this this point q is the equilibrium so initially uh, if particle has to move so this initial spring force must be greater than uh, your uh, kinetic friction so that limiting value also we can uh, calculate from here that if this condition is uh, maintained that means at uh, initial here here itself if we are taking here itself we are taking if we are getting the spring force value more than the maximum friction value then we are going to get uh, the motion will start otherwise uh, particle will be at rest only you can see a spring uh, force and uh, normal a spring force and friction is present so if initial spring force is more than uh, friction then motion will start otherwise the block will be at rest only or the particle will be at rest only okay now so here you can say uh, i should i am just calculating this uh, uh, this part uh so that uh, motion can start anyways this was uh, not required uh, but i hope you have realized that it is like uh, r minus l by 3 it is this vector it is again k delta x form so here kinetic uh, this spring force is acting kinetic friction is acting in uh, backward direction initially it will be zero and that's the reason it is moving in this direction that is the reason it is moving in this direction i hope you are uh, able to realize this point and after that uh, from here we can decide that particle is moving in a straight line path so from here to here continuously its energy will be losing and further it will lose so maximum uh, velocity will come at uh, point q itself that can be calculated uh, that can be calculated using uh, work energy theorem you can apply anyways from here to here time will be this time will be since constant forces will never affect your time period constant forces will never affect your time period so time from p to q will be uh, t by 4 overall time period is 2 pi under root of m by k equivalent and uh, it is like one uh, side of this so t by 4 is going to be the time from here to here when it is crossing the x axis so pi by 2 under root of uh, m by k equivalent and k equivalent is alpha plus beta which is 3 here so i hope you are uh, getting this uh, problem and v max you can calculate using uh, v max you can calculate using work energy theorem along this straight line path all right so that i'm not doing but i think you have got the clear idea so if you understand these uh, forces properly then the solution of this part is very very small you can see like it's a small solution uh, i don't need to write this also unless until uh, i'm trying to calculate that location for that uh, v max point so it just a few uh, in few lines you can uh, reduce this problem i hope you have enjoyed this uh, particular problem 
and uh, i'll bring more such problems in the upcoming days so thank you